Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com, and I'm here with Chris Fake from Phase 5. How are you doing, Chris? Uh, I'm good, Guff. Hey, uh, uh, thanks for being here again, really. Thanks for um, having me. Yeah, uh, Chris has been walking us through uh, the Phase 5 line. We're, we're to a pretty unique deck called the Diamond CL, a board that kind of does everything well. Um, it looks good, and it has a, a really strong, durable style construction. Um, what kind of riders can want to ride the Diamond CL? So the Diamond CL is designed as, as an everyone board. Okay. Um, a little bit about the construction since you touched on it. So the, uh, the, the Phase 5 product is going to have a foam core, and then it has a material called Propel, which is okay. kind of like a plastic that's over the top and the bottom. Mm -hmm. Phase 5 has its lineage or its roots in ocean skimboarding. And if you're not aware of ocean skimboarding, you're on the ocean or on the, on the beach, you throw your board in the sand and then you jump on it and slide it across. <laughs> yeah. So super, super durable yeah. construction with these boards. Got it. Now, with uh, because it's a skim board, it's only going to have one fin. Now, is it going to be a tall fin, short? What is it going to look like? It's going to be a, a single long base fin. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a few different holes so you can move it. There's the mounting holes are here. You can kind of move it wherever you'd like. If you want a, a longer carvey board, you're going to move this fin to the back. If you want something that's going to spin a little tighter, you can move it to the front so uh, but really with a, a fin like this is designed more to help you kind of find true north if you're doing 360s and whatnot it's gonna kind of line you up again with the boat and allow you to help stop got it yeah no this is a, a board that does a, a lot of things well but like uh, is it more beneficial for a, a beginner intermediate or advanced or you know, this uh, the, the CL is part of a progressive series. It, it actually complements the regular Diamond. Uh, sure. But the only difference between the two, the, the Diamond CL is kind of the, the price point version of a Diamond. Uh, so it has the uh, the Propel top and bottom versus the Propel bottom with a uh, a, a, more, a stiffer top on the on the CL. So um, with this board, the uh, the shape is really what makes it accommodating for a wide range of use. So okay. you have a, a, di a directional nose, uh, yep. which is great. But then you took they took the tail. This is where the name Diamond comes from. It's a diamond shaped tail, so it's a little bit wider. Okay. The wider the tail is, the higher that board is going to ride in the water, and the more sure. stable it's going to be. Got it. Um, at the same time, so you have a, a real wide, stable feeling board uh, with somewhat of a rounded off outline. So your mm -hmm. 360s are effortless, uh, yeah. and uh, but then you have the stability to uh, to complement that. Got it. Now, phase fives are also known for being really fast, like super, super fast, fast boards. What makes uh, this Diamond CL so so fast? The majority of it comes in the form of the rocker line. So the mm -hmm. rocker is the lengthwise curve of the board. Yep. The flatter the rocker, so a flat board on flat surface water, the flatter the rocker, the more efficiently it's going to slide across the yeah. water and spin on its surface. Mm -hmm. uh, if you had more rocker, uh, the board would plow a little bit more water, um, but that's what gives the board a little more adjust or a versatility or uh, maneuverability. Got it. And then kind of lastly, what, why would someone want to get the, the Diamond CL versus the, the, the Diamond it was LTD? Yep, the di yeah, the regular diamond board, yep. the diamond limited yep. uh, that the house offers. Uh, so it, uh, really, it's a function of price. Uh, okay. Performance-wise, they're right on par with one another. Uh, Shape-wise, they're exactly the same. Same fiberglass fins. Uh, the regular diamond or the diamond limited uh, is going to have a stiffer top deck, okay. which is going to make the board a little bit faster, a little bit more responsive. Sure. Um, so just you know, part of it may be a, a function of budget uh, yep. or performance level that the, the buyer is looking for. Well, well, that's simple enough. Awesome. Well, hey, uh, thank you guys for watching, chiming in, and uh, uh, leave a comment or a question. Let us know what you think of the Diamond CL and the rest of the Phase 5 line. Uh, Chris, thanks for being here, of course. Thanks, Scott. You're welcome. Uh, leave a comment, again, or a question, and uh, subscribe to the channel over there, or check out more vids there, and hopefully we'll see you guys on water. Peace.